Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply concerning issue that's affecting Hindus both in India and abroad. Let's talk about how Christian missionaries and radical extremists are targeting Hindu communities. First up, Christian missionaries. Now I'm all for freedom of religion, but what's happening here goes beyond that. These missionaries are not just spreading their faith, they're distorting Dharmic practices to convert Hindus in large numbers. Imagine this. They enter villages, convincing people that their age-old traditions and beliefs are somehow flawed or outdated, often exploiting the vulnerabilities of the less educated and economically disadvantaged. They use various tactics, from offering financial incentives to promising better lives and salvation. While some might see this as harmless, it's a form of cultural erosion that's tearing apart the fabric of Hindu communities. It's not just about changing religions, it's about losing a part of their identity, their history and their heritage. Next, let's shift gears and talk about the Islamic radicals. These guys are taking things to a whole new level. Using terror tactics, they instill fear among Hindus, creating an environment of constant threat and uncertainty. We've seen instances where homes are burned, temples are desecrated, and people are physically attacked. It's a chilling reality that many Hindus face daily. These radicals aim to create such a hostile environment that Hindus feel they have no choice but to convert. The goal is fear and intimidation, making people feel unsafe in their own homes, their own communities. It's a deeply troubling scenario that needs immediate attention. You might be wondering, what can be done about this? First, awareness is key. The more people know about these issues, the more pressure we can put on authorities to take action. Governments need to step up, enforce laws and protect all citizens, regardless of their religion. This includes cracking down on illegal conversions and providing security to vulnerable communities. International organizations also have a role to play. They need to condemn these actions and provide humanitarian aid to those affected. This includes shelter, food, medical care, and psychological support for displaced families. It's about creating a network of support that can help these communities rebuild and thrive. Lastly, promoting interfaith dialogue is crucial. We need to address the root causes of religious intolerance and work towards mutual respect and understanding. It's a long road, but it's necessary for lasting peace and security. Let this be a reminder of the importance of protecting religious freedom and minority rights. No one should live in fear for their faith or be forced to abandon their beliefs. We all have a role to play in ensuring that everyone can live in peace and security, free from persecution. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video informative, please like, share and subscribe. Together we can raise awareness and make a difference. Stay safe and take care.